Welcome back to my channel. So, oh gosh, yeah, I, I get it. I'm sorry. I've, I'm a little late. I'm a little late that I haven't posted a video, and I'm sorry. But the reason for that is, let me just start off that um, last week or last week and a half, something like that. I don't even know. I don't even know, but I had my exams at school, so I know I didn't post anything on YouTube or film anything for that matter because, you know, it was, I was doing exams at school. Fun, fun. Um, but yes, so I was doing exams. I didn't post a video, so I'm sorry. And then it was um, school ended, and right when school ended, my phone decided to go black. Now, my phone was glitching a lot, um, and it's been glitching since, like, April, but I never did anything because I got it, um, I got the screen replaced because it cracked at a, like, third-party kind of cell phone repair place, and um, I'm not pointing any fingers, but... That's when my phone stopped working correctly, was when they replaced my screen. I don't know. I don't know anything about phones. I don't know how, like, my phone started glitching and freezing up a lot. I don't know how that has anything to do with the screen. I'm not a phone person, but that's when it started happening. And I take good care of my phone. Like, even though I did crack it, it fell out of my pocket. It's not like I was being you know, handling it wrong or anything like that. It was just a simple mistake and it cracked. But other than that, I treat my phone like with great care. So yes, um, so I know it, I don't think it's me <laughs> that that's the reason as to why my phone glitches a lot. But yeah, no, it started glitching after I got it fixed and just a lot of problems have been happening and then my phone finally blacked out. So it will not turn on. So we've been going through just a big ordeal on getting it fixed. I've been back and forth at the, like the Apple um, kind of store place, like a City Mac kind of place, thing like that. And back to the um, cell phone repair place um, back and forth back and forth so um, long story short they're fixing my phone hopefully and we can get it all figured out and yes and I will have my phone in my hands so yeah I've been kind of dealing with my phone and just all this crap so yes it's it's not fun but I'm sorry that this video is late I honestly am so sorry so yes other than that moving on um, I decided to do this makeup look right here I'm pretty excited for it it is a cool toned smoky eye and you guys know I do a lot of warm tone looks on my channel because I do prefer more warm tone eyeshadows. I just feel like it compliments me more. I feel like it compliments a lot of people. Like, I just really love warm eyeshadows. Like, it's just my favorite. But I know that I have to branch out and do some different makeup looks. So yes, this is what I created for you guys today. It's just that classic kind of silvery, cool toned makeup look. And I hope that you guys enjoy it. Um, I really enjoyed creating it and I, I still love, you know, cool tones. I just prefer warm tones better, but that's all right. Oh well, we can't always do what we prefer in life. We have to branch out and do some different things. So yes, um, I hope that you guys enjoy this video and um, if you do, give it a like, subscribe to my channel maybe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Okay, so first things first, I'm in my robe. I'm super chill. I'm comfy. Let's do this. The first shade that I'm going to take is Birthday Suit. This is that perfect, cool toned, medium brown shade. I'm just going to use this as my transition shade and I'm just going to take it in my crease. Every day, every word that I say, let's serve it. I'm okay. All right, now I'm going to take Mega Geek's Creme Brulee, and this is that perfect, just soft brown, a little bit darker than your skin tone transition shade. Um, I'm just going to take this on that same E40 blending brush, and I'm just going to pack it over that birthday suit shade. I can see the light of you, but what's the point? 
point What's the use? You can see I'm blind for you You break the rules and I'm the fool all right, now I'm just going to take Cherry Cola and Americano from Makeup Geek as well. And I'm just going to take this and I'm going to blend this um, on my outer V area and just blend it gradually into the crease. So I just cleaned up the first third of my eye lid with some concealer um, before I apply the main eyeshadow shade to the eye lid. Um, I like doing that because I feel like it just really, um, I mean first of all it cleans up the area so you can really just start with a blank slate and I like doing that. Um, but also it really just emphasizes the color of the eyeshadow that you're applying over it I feel like um, especially like a glittery sparkly eyeshadow um, I feel like it just makes it look a whole lot more metallic with that creamy just concealer underneath it I don't know I just really like doing it I feel like it amps up the eyeshadow so I mean hey why not for the eyeshadow on my lid I'm going to take metal from ABH and starry eyed from makeup geek and I'm just going to mix these together um, metal is a whole lot more metal looking. It's got a lot of champagne-y kind of white gold silvery reflex in it. I don't know. That's what it looks like to me at least. I'm not the greatest at describing so that's kind of what I get from this eyeshadow. And you guys know that Starry Eyed is a whole lot more like pinky champagne-y. So yes, I like them both but I just decide to mix them together. I'm going to apply some eye drops on to my brush um, and dip it into the eyeshadow because this makes it a whole lot more metallic looking. All right, now that we got that set down, I'm going to take a little bit of Cherry Cola. I'm also going to dip it into Americano as well. And I'm just going to blend that out on my outer V, just kind of blending out this um, shade that we put on our lid just to make sure there's no jagged edges or harsh lines. Alright, now I'm going to take my NYC liquid liner and I'm just going to apply a wing. Feel free to not wear eyeliner at all or do some like smudgy smoked out liner. Whatever you guys want to do, I'm just going to do a simple wing for today. Where do you go? Far from home. You go, you go, but still I know. I'm going to use the Big Shot mascara from Maybelline and I'm just going to coat my lashes. And then after that, I'm going to take my Lily lashes in the style Sydney. Yes, Sydney. I'm not doing Miami's today. I'm switching it up for you guys. Can't hide my fears. I try, but I'm just human. I can say Now I'm going to take those same lid shades that I used and I'm just going to use that on my inner corner and my brow bone just to highlight them a little bit. Alright, time for skin. Oh goodness you guys, I've had the worst texture coming on to me. <laughs> this past like month or not month but just maybe a couple of weeks um, but yeah no it really sucks I don't know why I'm just super dry lately I've been super dry and just like kind of just crusty I don't know not a fan not a fan but hopefully it goes away and I can get it figured out I don't know but to start off throw the face I'm going to prime and I'm going to take the Nivea men post shave balm and I'm just going to use this as my primer I'm going to use just a little bit like a dime size amount 
kind of like that. And I'm just going to kind of rub it around in my fingers and then apply it like so using tapping motions to get it into the skin and the more you tap it the more tacky it'll get and that's what you want because you want this to be tacky so I can hold your foundation. I need to breathe. I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me foundation and this is the matte and poreless one which actually I don't know why I didn't get the dewy one but oh well <laughs> this is my first time using this foundation so I'm going to see how I like this I am very interested to see how it goes Yay, I just love it. I have like crocodile skin. It almost looks like I have hives all over my face in a way. Like that's the kind of texture that I'm getting right now. I just came back from the lake. So I don't know if maybe the heat from the sun caused this. I'm not really sure, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan at all. But besides the fact that I have this gross texture on my, over my face, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but I could definitely see it in real life. But oh well, that's fine. I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light, and I'm just going to conceal my under eyes. <laughs> going to take my airspun powder from Cody and I'm going to set my under eyes and the rest of my face. Well, now that I'm thinking about it, I might not set the rest of my face because I don't want this texture to really, really come through, so maybe I won't set the rest of my face, but yes. For the bottom lash line, I'm going to take Americano and Cherry Cola and I'm just going to blend these on my bottom lash line with a pencil brush. After I blended that out, I'm going to take a little bit of Corrupt. This is a Makeup Geek eyeshadow, and I'm just going to also blend this real just tight up into that bottom lash line, really close to the bottom lashes, and smoke that out. In this wrong situation, and anytime you want it to stop. Now I'm singing like, girl, you know I want your love. Your love was handmade for somebody like me. Alright, to smoke out that black and the rest of the shades, I'm going to take Wild West from Makeup Geek and Creme Brulee, also from Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to, like I said, use these to smoke out those eyeshadow shades. I got a condo in Manhattan. Baby girl, what's happening? You and your ass invited. So go and get to clapping. Alright, now I'm going to coat my bottom lashes with the Big Shot Mascara from Maybelline. Alright, now to add some color to this face, I'm going to take my L'Oreal True Match Powder in the shade W6 and bronze my face. Alright, 
Alright, now I'm going to take my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in the shade Medium Deep, and I'm just going to contour my face using this. Alright, keeping with the cool tones, I'm going to take Makeup Geek's Rendezvous blush and I'm just going to use this as my blush today. Alright, today I'm going to get back and use my Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder. Still love this stuff and this is in the shade Coco Bling. Now I'm going to take my Kylie Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Coco K, and I'm just going to apply this to my lips. Alright, just because this is a little bit more pink than I'm wanting it, I'm going to take the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade I'm Nude, and I'm just going to pop this right in the center. Alright, now I'm going to take my All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray from Urban Decay, and I'm just going to set my face. 